All right, welcome back, D again. Another review for you guys. Today I got a good one, man. If you like a Accords, I got a, a hybrid touring and this solar silver color. Check it out. Check this bad boy out. So I did a sport. All they got is sports and tourings, really. So I'm up in between. I'm gonna give you guys a walk around. Right now, like I said, this is a hybrid, so it's just sitting there, no engine running. But um, this thing looks pretty nice, man. These cores came a long way. This new, you know, body style's kind of growing on me. I kind of like the um, the one I had at uh, 19. You know, that one look kind of more aggressive, I guess. But you, know, you don't even get the exhaust tips, you know. But um, yeah, so no two liter turbo, none of that. So this is what you get, man. So starting with the front end, like I said, growing on me. A lot of people say it kind of looked like a Mustang, a 24 Mustang. So you guys let me know what you think. I think because these uh like this plastic right here, but you do get LED turn signal and high beam, low beam with the DRL right there. No fog lights, which sucks, but um you do get front parking sensors. Check that out. Nice black and uh some little aluminum type supposed to be right there gray looks pretty nice check that out man come around to the side these rims kind of growing on me too man they look pretty nice with the black inserts with the machine aluminum outside these are riding on some michelins this is a 235 40r 19 so still kept it in 19s and the michelins are some pretty nice tires the ones i had on mine comfortable ride let me know what you gotta think about that rim you know more than gloss black i was talking about running down you do get the integrated turn signal sunroof chrome running around the window check that out like i said no exhaust is back here but um, still more than gloss black with the parking sensors full LED uh, tail lights with like a light strip turn signal LED and that should reverse light right there so um, yeah man let me know what you got to think about this rear check out this trunk space you do get two um, hooks for your grocery getters and the max is what 40 pounds let's say 3 kilograms so no spare tire which sucks man i wish everybody would still get a spare tire but i need to give me this like fix a flat fix so i call it fix and go basically like a tire repair kit so um uh, i mean i guess that still works but um i still like the traditional spare tire man i guess a lot of people don't know how to change a spare tire so that's why they just give you that you hook it up to this you know the stem and it fills up like basically fix a flat that white goo that seals the hole up Makes a mess for the mechanic, but anyways, you get some gloss black back here, you know, some leather. You do get uh, heated seats in the rear, which is nice. Check that out. Nice leather seating. Nice premium leather. Nice soft. Smells really good in here. Cup holders. I'm gonna get back here too so you can see the space. You do get two USB C's and the climbing vent back here, so you can see the space. My knees, things that got pretty big over time. No mind, I barely could sit back behind my uh, 19. Okay for kids, you know, but adults, yeah. So you do get blind spot, heated mirrors, keyless entry. Just tap that to lock. Grab door handles to unlock. More of that gloss black and that leather. That's your bold sound system. So yeah, it's pretty nice for a cord, I would say. Wish they give you lumbar on the you know passenger side, but they don't. You can't even lift it up. You just gotta go front and back, and then your back wrist. So you got this gloss black, and it's like one continuous heat uh, vent is supposed to look like, but it's really just the corners. And these two. Like I said, your bowl sound system. So you got the key. And you lock, unlock, remote start, trunk, and panic. 
nice armrests, soft armrests. Got some uh, storage down there with a cigarette style charger, which is nice. Big 12.3. Go around to the other side, we can talk about all that. So you got this window sticker. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this color, man. I thought it was kind of like lunar silver, but I guess they changed it to solar. Kind of looked the same to me. So there you go, it's called solar silver metallic. It's a, it's a two liter. Well, turbo, I mean not turbo, two liter direct injected with a hybrid system. So check that out. Let's see that bowl sound system. Well, MSRP 39,000, 44 combined, 46 cities. Like so uh, that right there, man, <laughs> I will buy one. Check out that back seat. How spacious it is. And that's the seating is basically behind myself. Me being six foot, got the piano, but more with gloss black, the heated seats on this side as well. Driver's side, you do get two person memory seats, and it does have entry and exit mode. You know, being a touring, so the seats will you know, get out the way for you. So, you do get the power lumbar on the driver, and then you can lift up the seat up and down. Right, nice thud when you close the door. That's in quiet in here. So, um, starting with the steering wheel, nice thick steering wheel, way thicker than you'd want on the pilot for some reason. So, you got some gloss black running around with some of this aluminum. Got your wiper con and your light controls and your auto. You do get auto wipers, so right now it's set to auto. So, that's pretty nice. So, you get a full digital dash. With the new Accord, so you got you can control this side of the screen with this knob, this little wheel. Same for the other side. So this side is mainly. Let me go back. So right now you got just basically like your media, you know your Bluetooth, your phone, and all that. So you can see what the radio is doing. Right now it's on a radio station. And you do get paddle shifters. For what reason I don't really know, but it's pretty cool. Check that out. And like I said, this side is basically all your information. So you, you see your vehicle, heads up display. Does the vehicle does have a heads up display? So you can see what you want and you set what you want that to be. Set the height, rotation, the brightness, and the content. And now we're doing navigation and driver assist, off, speedometer, navigation, driver assist. So pretty. Pretty for it. I'm gonna just leave it to speedometer. And go back. Just click it in. Then you continue to roll it down. So power flow, range and fuel. Right now, 19.7. And driven 17.9 miles. So yeah, that's that. You still got that gloss black over here with that one continuous heat vent so yeah the 12.3 with a nine speaker bowl sound system this thing is pretty nice it's basically like a google so you got google assistant so pull up maps opening maps so you got google Maps, which is nice but it is as a uh, android auto and um apple carplay wireless so if you you know familiar with that or just want to use google maps either or it's pretty nice so this is your home screen. You got map, phone, even got the Play Store. But you got to sign on, sign up to do all that. Oh. You got your power flow. You see more of it. And now right, it's in hybrid mode, so engine isn't really running. Then you got your vehicle settings, trip computer right here. Turn that down. So let me just turn it off. I want to. So there you go, you got, you got the Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. And you got a little menu over here that shows something, your clock, compass, radio. Pretty straightforward, you know, nothing much to it. Uh, coming down here, you do get dual climate zone. You do get heated and ventilated seats. It's more like a fan, so I wouldn't say it's ventilated. More like, it's like a fan that's just blowing on your back, driver and passenger. 
Uh, like I said, it is dual climate, so right now it's at the low or sync it up. Two USB C's with a wireless charging pad down there. I'll show you guys the review. So you got your um, you got your parking sensors and all that over there. You can set uh, different um, angles you want to see and see more around it, more like direct. And then top down, I guess. You do get rear cross path detection. You got how many noises you get because uh, it's in hyper mode, so you can open the door. Yeah, you have to pick that up. It even shows a little brake light icon right there. If I put the hazards on. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, man, this thing is pretty nice. Got some gloss black down here. Cup holders. So you got your drive modes. So you got econ, normal, sport, individual. So you just set that up. Customize it how you want. Like I said, the drive train. I mean, power train, you put that in sport, steering, and your adaptive cruise control, a little camera up there. Check that out, your gauges, put it in sport. So it's kind of like red. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Just put it back in normal. A nice little icon to give you everything. So steering wheel, power train. It's pretty nice. Pretty customizable. You got your little E button, EV button, so you can turn that on or off. I'll just leave it with auto or just, you know, if you want to do right now. I'll just leave it in auto. My favorite feature is brake hold. You know, I keep talking about that, but it's basically a nice feature, man. If you know if you got it, it's a nice feature. You press it, and uh, if you had a brake at a light or whatever, I'm pressing the brake right now if I was at a light. If I let go, the car will still apply the brakes, you know, have the brake lights on so people can know. And then you just hit the gas to go, which is pretty nice. So this one does have a sunroof. Open that bad boy up. Got your controls right there. Got your sunglass holder, sunglasses. Nice LED lights in here. Bezel's mirror. I wish they give you the full digital one. You know, being um, pulling whatever. Nice vanity lights. Close that bad boy up. I know what you guys think about this interior, man. Thought it's gloss black and looks pretty nice. Premium in here. It's a bold sound system. Check out those seats one more time. Yeah, man, like I said, this thing is pretty nice, man. I don't really have no complaints. Nice heads-up display. Everything is premium. Let's check out this uh, big engine. <laughs> check this bad boy out. Ah. Looks like you some hood stress, man. This thing is heavy. So right now it's in hyper mode, so the engine isn't running. It's just something like the hyper system battery. Check that bad boy out. Relatively quiet. Close this hood again. Man. This thing is heavy. So quick POV of this Accord Touring. Got in a sport mode. Let's see what that's all about. Yeah, that thing moves, man. This thing moves. Got the heads up display up there. Got the, I'm gonna try to turn this Honda sensing and stuff on so you guys can see how it, you know it basically can steer itself. Brake lights getting applied right there. Let's go this way. See if I can get it to pick it up the lines. Okay, there you go. So I picked up the lines. And basically, trying to keep me straight. Check that out, man. This thing is pretty nice. But they're gonna tell me to put my, you know, type of steering wheel eventually. So, uh, yeah, basically, there you go. Steering required. 
It's a pretty neat feature though. Now, this thing drives pretty good though. And sport mode got plenty of pull. I mean, not, it's not really a, a race car, but uh, you guys kind of get the idea. Let's see if it can drive. It's not gonna let me drive. It's not gonna steer me down here just because uh, I can't pick up that curve. But this thing's pretty nice though, man. Comfortable. Put it back in regular mode. There you go. There you go. Kind of keep those RPMs kind of high. You know, kind of keep you in that power band. I think it's pretty nice though, man. Let me know what you guys think, man, in the comment section below. This bad boy is nice. I'll close that later, but uh give you guys one last walk around. Check out the front end with those DRLs. It's pretty aggressive. Let me know what you guys think about those rims, man. It's been a touring, man. This thing is fully loaded. Check out that rear. So it just engine just cuts back on. You guys can hear it. What you guys think about this bad boy man this thing is nice man i love the course this thing has finally grown on me i wouldn't say it was bad man but just coming from the previous uh model to this and then with everything they cut you know you don't have those engine options no more kind of sucks but um hey man let me know what you guys think in the comment section below man it'll be i catch you guys in the next one peace